missing. Yeah. But I think if it died, it would have fallen right before. <laughs> Much all over. 
see through here then so you can see better? Yeah, I've been standing here all day. I've been interfering with the floor. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Ball Hockey International. The some spring teaser. I wish it was the summer teaser. Yeah, Ball Hockey sure. Tournament. Game number four out of five of our broadcast schedule here on the JVI Sports Network in association with Ball Hockey International. And this one we've got for you this afternoon, the Super Bad facing Extreme Chaos. Super Bad in the... Dark uniforms, purple with the white numbers. They'll go right to left. Pardon me, left to right for Superbad in this opening period. Right to left for Extreme Chaos. They're led by the goaltender Greg Sterniak. Our second look at him this afternoon. We saw him suit up for the Punishers early on. And for Superbad, back the other way, Ryan Gale. And it's controlling the play right now, Extreme Chaos. Working through center, it's dumped down into the corner and super bad. He take over. Pass intercepted and Paul Clayson. He dumps it into the corner, first man there is Mike Ferguson of the super bad squad. And the captain, Mike Ashley, lets one rip from center floor. All the way back to chase it, Jesse Dunham. That one hit off the backboards, came all the way back to center, and then Dunham's pass, shot rather, hits off the stick of Ferguson and up into the screen. the right of Ryan Gale, the faceoff, quickly controlled by Superbad, and they come running the length of the floor. Mitch Quesnel. Believe the first man there, as it just rolled off his stick at the last second, is Mike Ashley. And then we'll dump off to his left, Nick Lestrasco. Lestrasco into the corner for Justin Hope. Hope plays it back around his own net. Poked ahead there by Patrick Riley, but turned over. And Superbad will work down the far side. Brandon Lint. Lint has a roll off his stick, so Mike Ferguson back to play again. Lint stolen away by Ashley here. Ashley, he's got two partners with him. And he's just going to let it rip. Everyone had to hold up at the blue line. Ashley steps in and snipes it. 7.54 to go in the opening period. <coughs> he's got the stall jersey on. Looked like him there on the defensive point. As we're back to live action, the face off. Dumped back down. Into the super bad zone. Backhand play there, Tyler Bowman. Bowman with it again. The stick of Jesse Dunham. 
rolls away from him. So Tyler Morris gets his first touch. He goes back behind his own net, cutting through the middle. Mike Gill, as Gill has it here, in stride. He finds double zero, Cam Caustic. And Caustic plays it up the wall. James Cochran. Try and chase it down. He's in behind the net. This is Mike Ashley, pardon me. As super bad comes back the other way. Through the middle, Chad Conway. Conway's got to give chase here. Is it stolen away from him? <laughs> and worked out through center. Mike Ferguson chases that down into the corner. Comes all the way out for the rip there by Jesse Dunham and save made by Ryan Gill. And here's a look at the opening goal of the game. You just see chaos. Everyone had to stop outside in that shot. Just from outside, we've seen a couple of those so far today. And we've got another one here. It's the go-ahead goal, the opening goal of the game. That is back underway. Another attempt at the outside shot coming here from Chaos. That one off the stick of Paul Clayson. And just outside of six minutes to play in the opening period. Ball comes upside, batted nicely out of the air there, Ryan Madalena. And from the half boards, stolen away by Chaos. Down low, shot again. And again, Ryan Gale. Play will come outside. In the face off there. Stalls momentarily at the blue line. And through the legs here as they work down. Peter Ruddy has it roll off his stick. So Chaos will send it back. Led by Paul Clayson. Clayson involved in a battle there on the sideboards. And a nice shot by the defender at the red line to hold it and keep the ball in front. Pete Ruddy tried to cut through over the blue line and was tripped up, so the guilty party will head off and will go for a trip. So another, another look at the penalty call here which will send super bad to the power play and another trip. We've seen those called all day. Yeah, it's one of those ones where if you get your, uh, yourself kind of with, uh, with your feet in cement as a defender and you're reaching, uh, it's an all or nothing play. So oftentimes it results in a trip. Face off chased all the way down to the floor to our left. And in the corner, Tyler Morris. He's the man for Superbad that's going to take over. But Jesse Dunham walks off the line to send it back into the corner. Dunham again comes off the red line. He's going to go all the way down. In behind the goal line now as Dunham circles the net. Dunham's got an attacker on him, Sean Laguerre. And he gets past Laguerre and meets another defender. Jesse Dunham finally loses it now before sliding over Patrick Riley. 
That was a good call there. There was a glove pass uh, that resulted in in the uh, change of possession. A defender stepped up trying to uh, play the ball in the air and just got it with his glove knocking it ahead to his to his winger. So both teams will switch their lines up here. <coughs> and we'll have a face-off outside the zone where Greg Cerniak in the cage. Like we said, we saw him our first game of the day with Team Punisher. Playing in the intermediate division. As that ball goes into the corner. Out in front, Mike Ferguson shot partially blocked. Cerniak slides over to his left. Make the save. Spinning again, Ferguson. And again, Cerniak making the glove save. This shot off the stick of Ferguson up into the rafters and they'll bring the face off outside. So some of our viewers might be wondering how come an intermediate goalie can play in Barnes since there's no rated players allowed in Barnes. The one exception in any of the rating systems is the goalie. As we talked about before, goalie's typically the first guy picked on the team, so we want to make sure that uh, people are that these teams can play, so the, we allow any goalie in. Shot from the red line. Sterniak came all the way out, almost in line with the face-off dot to cut down that angle. Caused the shot to go wide. Jesse Dunham again behind his own net. Wings it around the boards. Comes up just inside of half there and off the cage, straight down. So Dunham again tries to clear it. Ball stopped here. That one hits Dunham in the foot. And a bit of a hop and a skip after taking that shot. Came off the stick of Mike Gill, I believe, as here comes Chaos. Ashley. Mike Ashley gets it down low. Poking for it, a couple of players. It's Dunham again who stayed out there after taking that shot off the foot. Gets the shot in on goal now. Working down the near side off the rebound, Cam Kostic. Kostic comes in, he battles Mike Ashley. And Ashley. <coughs> Ashley got it up for Tyler Bowman. Rifles a huge shot and in around the boards. Here come Chaos again. The tip is just enough to cancel the icing call, so 140 to play in the period as Superbad tries to take over. Far side, trying to set up the counterattack. They've got Ferguson cutting through the middle. Ball doesn't arrive, though. Here comes Chaos. Bowman. In the center, Bowman... Stops right at the hash marks. Bowman into the corner. He returns it back. Couldn't get stick on it. So three super bad players rush out. And it ends up being a three on two with the pass in behind the attacking player. Feeds through for Tyler Morris. Morris has it roll off his stick. Tyler Bowman in there. Bowman and Morris involved in a foot battle. Looking for it. It's shoveled ahead by Chaos. 50 seconds to play. In the first period, Peter Ruddy will grab it in behind his own net. The four checker falls, gets a bit of a cheer from his bench, and then Ruddy gives it away. Ferguson is going to shovel it forward. He didn't get enough on that. And that will bring chaos over the line. 25 seconds remain in the period now. From the circle, the shot off the pipe and in. Second goal of the game. A little too much time in the slot there. He's able to pick his spot and let go of a nice wrister. So again, the second time we see this goal. As 
as that line's going to stay out there. And Paul Clayson at the dot will win it back. It rolls all the way back down in on Greg Cerniak. He bats it back up. Dying second to the opening period now with five on the clock. It gets through and it'll stop at six and a half. As the ball bounces around in front of the crease of Ryan Gale and ends up behind him to make the score three nothing in favor of Extreme Chaos. That ball just really seemed to have eyes and it was going to find an Extreme Chaos stick no matter what. Uh, hopped over a couple super bad sticks as it was going through the uh, crease there. Jeff Hornick, I believe the recipient there. And this draw is going to be tied up. It gets down in on Cerniak. And super bad are giving chase, but they're going to run out of time before the horn sounds. And a great period for Extreme Chaos as they start 3 nothing. Couple replays to look at here. So second goal here, we see Mike Ashley just uh, was able to get that in slot and let it go. And as we mentioned, the seeing eye shot, seeing eye ball going through the crease ended up on Clayson's stick. It's Colin Burns in the Mark Stahl jersey. Couple goals here in that opening period. My apologies, I thought 12 was Mike Ashley on our sheet. So did I until I saw a guy with actual Ashley nameplate on the back of his shirt. Ah. But it's okay. As the team switch sides here now, Cerniak in the net to our left, and they can bear down on Ryan Gale. As Ferguson has it from outside the shot. Gale makes a nice glove save, but rebound drops in front of him. Nick Lestraco. Lestraco out of the corner. Pinching in comes the defense. Rolls off the stick. Patrick Riley's got to give chase. Comes back for Lestraco again. Lestraco for Riley. Giving go with Lestraco and Riley right there. Nice job by the defense. Send that one away. Lestraco again. Working out of the corner. Back for Riley. Riley gets away from Ferguson. Out in front, couple red jerseys there. And the first one getting in, Justin Hope. Couldn't put it behind, though. And here's Riley again. Ferguson bats it ahead. Ashley gets in the way of that and running down the floor. Here comes super bad in transition. Ferguson stops and then spins and fires. And Cerniak thought the first shot was going to go through, so he went down and unable to recover before Ferguson can get back. Okay, so we have a replay here coming up of the goal. It looked like Cerniak just wasn't able to get uh, get himself set when uh, Ferguson was able to get a shot off there from the slot and just beat him clean. Eight and a half to play here in the Second period is that shot from the outside for Superbad. Goes wide from Mike Gill. Comes back again up for Riddle. They call him offside. And the bench of Extreme Chaos. I think they're, uh, they, they're trying to say they have an argument on, on, on this offside, but I think this replay that they're calling for would show that uh, the ref was right. <laughs> We'll say from our vantage point here, commentating that the referee was right. So Chaos gets behind the net again. And they step up, stolen away though, 
by Cam Costick. Costick, he has his pocket picked by Tyler Bowman, and they're going to try Riddle this time legally onside. And he's arguing for the hook. Lost the stick and ran into the net. Plays blown dead while they reset. I think Riddle was trying to sell that one, but uh, the acting classes haven't quite paid off yet. And looked like the stick was there, but not enough, I don't think. Play back on here. It is Jolin Taylor. He feeds it out in front. Ryan Madalena has it bumped off his stick. Pass to the far side. Riddle's going to go after it. Riddle in the corner. Looks for the return feed and fanning on that shot. Come back in front of us again. As that one batted down the floor and out to play on it. Ryan Gale. Bowman. Far side of the floor. Bowman cuts back to the front now, takes the shot, and that one comes off the stick of Taylor. Joel and Taylor as they come back through the middle. Ferguson, he's got a man leaking out. It's Ryan Madalena, and Madalena will catch up in the corner. Comes for Pete Ruddy. Ruddy's shot goes wide as Ferguson chases that down again. Under seven minutes to play now, 6.50. On the clock, there comes a shot. In front, that bounces off Ruddy. Goes back for Ferguson. Ferguson's shot. Down goes Sterniax. Turns it aside. And Chaos. Threatening to break out here with Paul Clayson leading the charge. Clayson's got a man on his left. As they work it back into the corner. Collision here as it comes in on Gale. And Gale's just going to... Jump on top and cover up. That was smart there to get that, get the whistle. They were starting to scramble a little bit in the defensive zone. Get reset. So here comes the face off to the left of Gale. Stolen by Rodney DeRoy. DeRoy has it roll away from him and hustling over Jesse Dunham. Dunham for DeRoy. Nice defensive play in front of the net there as Dunham has to run down and pick it up. Dunham to the near side. Paul Clayson is there. Back for DeRoy. <clears throat> Going for the big shot. It's stolen away from Caustic. And Caustic falls, it looks like, just as he was about to take it. Cutting through the center. Collision there, stolen away. And this here comes super bad. John McCauley. McCauley right on the doorstep as he takes the shot. And Cerniak there to cover up. 3-1 remains the score. Five and a half to play here in the second period. There's a lot of time here. Uh, there's been some good transition game between both teams. Uh, some good chances both sides. So it's definitely a game that's up for grabs. It's not the 3-0 game that we saw in the first period. Uh, that goal's really uh, allowed Super Bad to come back and gain some momentum. Super Bad trying to get the shot in from the point. Mike Gill on the half wall is going to be chased down there. Chad Conway after the loose one comes up for. Pardon me, chaos as they work down the near side. Riley after it in front of his own bench. Shot there coming from Lestraco. Collision on the far boards. Patrick Riley is there. Riley, they feed it out in front, and then player falls. Fanning on the shot is the winger coming over on the near side. Conway. Can't keep up with it. Rolls off his stick for Ferguson. He looks for Conway again, though. As it rolls down into the corner. Here comes Superbad chasing it down. Icing waved off by the official. As they work it over for Jolin Taylor. 
Taylor back to the far side. Tyler Morris is there. Four checkers, Patrick Riley. Again, no icing called as Mike Ashley chases that back down and just outside of four minutes to play now in the second. Th still 3-1. Outside they look for Riley. Lestraco on that play. And Mike Gill gets held up. And that's going to go... Not sure if that's high stick or hooking, but definitely a pretty big argument there from Patrick Riley. So we'll get another look and you be the judge here. Yeah, you can see that the stick made contact with the cage. Um, just rode up uh, his, rode up the, def uh, the, the defender's stick and clearly made contact and the ref's arm went right up immediately. So another face off, this one to the left of Cerniak. Controlled by Cam Caustic. He's looking for a way that he can feed it down to the floor. Rather they bear down on Cerniak, feeding it through to Caustic. And a nice job by Cerniak going cross crease. And spinning and firing Peter Ruddy. Ruddy in the corner, Caustic is there as well. Madalena works the far side. Minute and a half to play in the power play. Madalena rolls it slowly over on the near side. Comes into the corner. Picked off in front though. As here's Tyler Bowman. Bowman at center. Has that stolen away from his eight counterpart, John McCauley. And Costin comes in. Costic, just wide. Comes back for Colin Burns. His shot goes around the boards. As Bowman lets one rip that goes wide of the net. Enough to relieve pressure though. As Mike Gill will shoot it back. Sterniak grabs that one out of the air and will hold on. That shot gave us a really good, uh, really, a really good show of just how much that ball curves on uh, the clappers from back there. Once, it, once McCauley let that go, that changed a good four or five feet in the air. Ferguson's going to kick this one all the way back. Stepping into the shot, Joel and Taylor goes just wide and burns. Going to dump that one the length of the floor. Rolls to the right of Gale. Ryan Gale there will bring it in around the near wall. Joel Taylor up for Brandon Lint. Lid for Ferguson in front. Ferguson, they work the far side now. Tyler Morris takes up the point. Back into the corner they go. Jesse Dunham in there for defense for chaos. Power plays over. And they've got a man all the way down. Whoever stepped out of the penalty box went to the bench. Up to Paul Clayson who took his spot. That was D-Roy. Rodney D-Roy, his pass picked off. He's going to get another chance though. As he works on the half boards. Knocked off his stick by Taylor. And then the chase down. The referee's arm goes up. Has dropped down to the floor, rather, was Brandon Lint. Minute 31 to go, and super bad return to the power play here. All right, so that's just two players battling, running down. Just, you know, lose control of your stick. It's nothing uh, nothing intentional. Just get it gets in the feet and a little trip. And we see the two benches having a little fun between a couple of good friends as one's taking a, an earned but innocent penalty into the box. <laughs> he, uh, he gave a little mocking uh, to his buddy on the other team. Ashley around the near side, a cutback move. And perhaps should have stayed with the forehand there. I think so. I think he actually 
took away his own opportunity. Definitely ran out of space as a battle down there, down deep. I think the first time we're seeing, I believe James Co uh, Cochran out there on defense as this ball in the final minute of play in the period goes down on Gale. A bit of trouble handing it. Bounced it up to himself, batted it down with the glove, and then Cerniak, that one goes to his left-hand side. He does get the glove on it. He's going to hang on, 43 seconds to go. As Here's another check of that scoring opportunity. He has the shot there, and I think takes it away. You got to just you just got to bear down and cut across the crease. I think on that one, take your you know. take your chances, fight through the check, and uh, go across go across goalie's face. Face off, it's still loose in front of Cerniak. He was down, two super bad players, right on top of him. But out in front comes Riley. He slips and falls there, and that. Gives the chance to super bad. Conway had it in front. No icing called by the official. Comes down in the corner. Patrick Riley. Chase that down. Ten seconds to go as Conway gets a stick on it. Here's McCauley now. John McCauley. He lets the shot go and hits the punishment logo on the jersey of Cerniak. And he's going to leave it behind his net with just enough time to expire the period. And we'll head to the third. 3-1 in favor of K Extreme Chaos, but they are killing a penalty for 29 seconds. They did a nice job there in that first minute 31 of that, uh, that PK. Really weren't many opportunities offensively. So we go to the third period. The goaltenders will switch one more time. Cerniak makes his way to the net to our right. We're getting a look of our nice sport court flooring and our fencing. So the third goal of the game is Burns. Steps into the shot, Colin Burns, and our apologies to him, not correctly awarding him the first couple goals, and then spinning a fire, Mike Ferguson. As again, Ferguson just got Cerniak off balance here. You don't see that very often, and uh, he's just able to beat him low. Faking the dump, and it looked like they were trying to release Mike Ferguson again to get him in the middle. Again, a power play here for Superbad as the Chaos have a player in the box. Juicy rebound here. Burns gets a stick on it as Ferguson was hanging around. Ruddy, there to play for it as well. Ruddy, over for Madalena. Madalena, McCauley now. That's a great just keeping keep at it that in. red line. Nice play off the boot there as they come back for Burns. Burns is going to clear center for Lestraco. And Lestraco, he's got a step on McCauley, looks like. And McCauley is going to force him to take the long route. Lestraco out in front, looking for Riley. They go Ruddy now. Ruddy steps in and fires. Steered into the side, and then Ruddy falls in again. More friendly banter as it went one way. Now it goes back the other. Here's Ruddy dropping it to himself. Takes the outside shot, and the rebound controlled by Chaos. Ruddy falls to keep that one in, and again, Cerniak up to the hash marks to make the save. That's Pat New Cerniak right there. He's going to challenge you every time uh, when, when you're playing against him. Uh, a lot of teams will go in, understand that they're going to try, and... They're going to try and have to make a move laterally, but uh, he, he gets in your head, that's for sure, as a shooter, because you know as soon as you look up, you just see, you see him rushing at you, and you don't have much space. Oh, a quick shot, and Cerniak caused into action. Right quick, not sure he was ready as he stumbled there. Ball to the far side. Stolen away out of harm's way, but just momentarily as they bat it around now. Riddle getting it through. Through the middle comes Kostek, and again Cerniak turns that one aside. Great anticipation. Kostek's going to chase this one down and can't get a grip, and as he goes down, the blade of the stick gets caught in the foot. 
And Caustic's going to go here. Cerniak making his way to the bench. Try and get the extra attacker out. And nice pick by the referee there. <laughs> and it's finally it is touched up, and Caustic will go off for a trip. Not a whole lot Caustic can do here. Is Looks pretty incidental, but definitely is a He's just battling, trip, right? and actually before he went to the box, he, uh, he made sure he went over and gave a little sorry before he went. <laughs> so the face-off to the left of Gale. And looks like super bad wins it, but it kept in just outside the blue line. There's a shot there, that one. I believe ticked off the top of the crossbar, 7.35. And go here, still 3-1 in favor of Chaos. Extreme Chaos, keeping it in at the line. Mike Ashley puts it to the top of the circle. Cerniak doesn't come out just for shots. He was, he's way out between the hash marks here as the icing call as that ball goes down the floor, 126 remain in the power play. It's definitely not a play extreme PS wanted to make on the power play there, trying to break out their zone quickly and catch super bad off uh, on some changes, but uh, it just passed one, uh, passed one awry and here we are back in the defensive zone to start on this uh, for the remainder of the power play. That ball gets caught up in the feet of the face-off takers. So Tyler Bowman, the first man who can get turned around. And Bowman will control it on the near side. Looking to get up over half, and they do. Right in front of the super bad bench. Feeding through, cutting in front was Mike Ashley. Going with him, though, Tyler Morris. And Morris and Ashley renew their battle. Here's Joel and Taylor. Taylor just fires that into the corner. And trying to... Get free was Conway. Rolled off his stick, though, as Dunham was there. Jesse Dunham gets back up as Conway's coming in. He can't wind up and let that one rip. It's tied up with the official as well. Finally squirts free for uh, Tyler Bowman. Sorry. Back up top again. They go in for Riddle. That one, the length of the floor now. Cerniak coming out. 20 seconds remain. In the power play. Bowman has it for chaos here. Dunham up top. They work the far side. Ashley the shot. John McCauley, nice job on defense there with Riddle in front. John McCauley over for Pat Madalena. Madalena will lift it down the floor. Cerniak makes the save and Caustic straight out of the box goes after the ball. <coughs> Comes up for D-Roy. Comes the pass to the near side as Caustic came out on fire. As he's still sprinting the floor. Working up into the attacking zone now. Brandon Lint. Lint has it. A far circle. Madalena in the corner. Feeds it out through looking for Caustic. As he gets back for Jeff Hornick. Hornick back in front. As a change in front of the chaos bench. As it comes back for Burns. Here's the outside shot. It bounces off the stick of Hornick and goes just wide. Burns back to play for it. Cerniak coming out to help. Here's Burns, gets it around Madalena. DeRoy. Touches that. Madalena is going to get it back though. Madalena. Some nifty stick handling, and none of it works to get past Colin Burns though. It was fun to watch though. Ruddy, far side. Ferguson the shot just wide as again. Cerniak coming out to challenge. Here's Madalena. Tried to get that through to Ferguson in front. Defender was there. Here's Madalena stepping into the shot at the top of the circle. And Cerniak again going to his left, making that save. Ferguson into the corner. Burns is there as well. It's lifted down the floor. Here comes Tyler Harris. Morris, rather, pardon me. 
And Morris will get there. <clears throat> In behind, Jeff Hornick. He falls. Ruddy outside the red line, off the cage. And then back for Cerniak. He's got to cover up with Madalena bearing down on him. It's a nice display of flexibility there. You wouldn't see me getting down in that position. <laughs> That's why I'm over here too. <laughs> Don't worry. 3.44 in the third period. 3-1 score. In favor of extreme chaos. Colin Burns a couple early goals. Let's look back at that play maybe a little later on with Ferguson with that wide open chance. Could have been a big, could have been a big change. Feeding through on the breakaway. And they've got the def defender down. I think the defender made that save. And finally they do get it through. Lestraco, a couple chances earlier on. I believe he had Patrick Riley down there with him. The defender made a save. The goaltender made a couple. And just two chances too many, I think, in that case. Superbad was just never able to corral that ball. It just, uh, it just kept coming back to the extreme chaos stick. And eventually they were able to bang her home. And here it is for you as they spring Lestraco on the breakaway. I think that may be actually the stick of Gale as yeah. we see it again. It's a great save, but no one in purple can get on the rebound, so make it 4-1 in favor of Extreme Chaos as Lestraco has it again. Lestraco with a man all over him. Gets around John McCauley. Nice drag move there by Riley. Spinning shot. The side was open. It's Jesse Dunham. Getting it deep again. Riley still there. As is Lestraco. Lestraco will tap it around the defender. Dunham will backhand it all the way back in again. Riley. He's got a man on the far side, gets it to him now at the faceoff dot, back for Riley. Give and go here in front, and that just skips to the left of the goal. And as Riley in behind, Lestraco again. Dunham returns it, and then that one chopped ahead. Super bad, has it in the corner now. Chipped ahead by Kostic. Kostic. Still screaming around after that penalty he took. He's going to end up with the ball here. Got a player in front. Cerniak goes down. Can't handle the rebound, though, so super bad. continue their pressure. Here's Taylor. Taylor gets it across the top. Shot comes in. Tangle of bodies. The top forward falls, and that allows super bad to keep in. They will get it out here, though, as it's chipped up on the boards for Jesse Dunham. Dunham at center for Riley. Lestraco out of his reach. It goes back again. Super bad one more time. Three on two. They elect for the outside shot. Comes for the hash marks. Kostic down on the crease. Oh, Cerniak again going to his left. Yeah, I wish, uh, I'm thinking Gillis wants to see that again because he had back door wide open there if he could have just put it across. Chris Gillis. In front, and here's Extreme Chaos trying to make it 5-1. They really were dominating on that shift. It seemed like that goal just gave them a lot of energy. You can see Gillis wanted to take off there, and he ended up with another chance back the other way. As it was Cerniak coming to his left. We have a timeout here on Superbad. Down by three with a minute 22. <clears throat> I think they're trying to find their three goal line. Their minute 22 three goal line. I'd try and get it to Caustic because since his penalty he's been on on, a, on fire, not a whole ton in terms of chances. And yeah, you called it, I think. And as you see, Chris Gillis shoots it into Cerniak with a man wide open on the far side. That's what Cerniak will do to you as a... Oh! 
Did Costa get that one? The rebound definitely came I to him. I think you may have just called it. I'm going to hold off my celebration here <laughs> until I see officially. There well, was, super bad, super bad. There was bench. three purple jerseys yeah. down there. Super bad bench seems to be uh, seems to be complimenting whoever decided to make that timeout call. <laughs> Face off again. John McCauley's going to win it, and they work down the far side. Brandon Lint. This could be one of the best comebacks we've ever seen. Not if the poke check from Cerniak has anything to say about it. Extreme Chaos will come back the other way, trying to break Riddle free. And so here comes Caustic. The wheels haven't slowed on Caustic as he gets it in front for McCauley. Batted out of midair by Colin Burns. As there was a player there as well. And again, Cerniak is going to cover up. And again, it's Caustic on the doorstep. McCauley's a guy who knows how to find the back of the net. And here it is. Still didn't quite see if that went across the crease or if it was Caustic on the near side, but definitely two guys down low. It's either Caustic or Lint. It looked like Lint swiped at it, but I think it was Caustic's goal. I'll, I'm going to give that one to you. I'll take it. Our director, Jeremy Hogel, said it as well, so I'll agree with him. Well, he's the boss. An official wants to redo the draw just as Peter Ruddy was teeing it up. Cerniak comes out, drops low. Here's McCauley in front. Can't get stick on it. Initial shot came from Conway at the point. And the net is way, way off here. And it's Bowman as he touches up. The play gets stopped, and it'll be to the right of Cerniak with the goaltender out. So I believe the net was off. And it. Keep your eye on Cerniak here to see when this happens. It came off and then it got a little help. Yeah, I think Bowman wanted to help the referees out to let them know that the net was off. And again, the official calls back the face off. 34 seconds on the clock as they Get it down. Comes on the near side. Ferguson can't hang on. Here's Bowman at the blue line. He's going to dump it down, and that may be all for super bad here. They're going to try and put another rush together, but unless it's a two-goal play, it's from way outside, and that's not going to do it as the defense takes over and put one in the wind column for extreme chaos. 4-2 as Ferguson from way... Way down and .7 on the clock. And with a two goal lead, they'll just run that out and Extreme Chaos knocks off super bad here on round robin day. That was game Game number four of five, scheduled for 6 p.m. The Northeast Eagles facing the Hitmen, the spring, teener, spring teaser rather, in the adult rec division. That game comes your way. As soon as the handshake line and warm-ups are finished, they've got just less than three minutes on the board. Stay with us here on the JVI Sports Network in association with Ball Hockey International, the spring, spring teaser ball hockey tournament. <laughs> 